John Reba, along with Nolan Collins, junior defender, and um, DJ Dixon, sophomore midi. Coach, uh, if you don't mind just opening up with an uh, opening statement about today's game. Yeah, I mean, I think we, uh, you know, we expected that they were going to be a, a great opponent uh, for us. Uh, we got to watch a lot of games, and you know, they had a great win against RIT, so we knew we were going to have our hands full uh, with this team. Uh, big, physical, you know, senior-heavy team. Um, so they've been around, they, they kind of know it. They've got a great a goalie who's really stepped up but over the last uh, couple of months and uh, has been, been uh, really hot. So we knew it, you know, it was going to be a challenge. But I, I'll tell you, I love the way our guys came out. Uh, we came out firing and we came out you know, attacking and we were able to jump them early and we really bear down on the defensive side. But we, we cleared it really well. So all those things kind of led to a nice little cushion for us going into the half. You talk about that a little bit, how much this is a game of runs or can be momentum. And felt a little bit like they might have taken a little bit of that momentum out of halftime and what maybe the adjustments were. Yeah, I mean, I think this is a, our team has seen a lot this year, which is great. We've seen those swings in, in lacrosse. And it was great to we found ways to, to win some of those tough games, too. So I knew we had it in us. And uh, we just need some possessions. That's what it comes down to. If we can get those possessions and be smart, uh, we're going to win the game. And um, that's what it came down to tonight, just uh, you know, getting a couple, two extra ones at the end. And, and that just kind of sealed it for us. Well, the, the extra one at the end that seemed to be the big one that came from DJ. You want to talk about that? That goal that put you back up three with I think just a couple minutes to go was came off a rebound I think and was you know seemed to be the the, the final nail. Uh, yeah, that was a that was a tough goal. It was, I got you got to get in the hard areas, so um, I took a little punishment there, but it's definitely worth it. You came up celebrating on that one. Yeah. Uh, you talked about the defensive end a little bit. Um, looked like you were in control for a little bit, then like we saw, talked about a little swing there. And you guys, what were the adjustments there? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they're a great team. Credit to what credit's due. They're a uh, really potent team. Uh, a lot of seniors. So we knew they were going to get some runs. Uh, for us as a defensive uh, unit, we talked about you know limiting their runs, stopping them, and uh, just playing within ourselves, playing them to our abilities. And uh, when it mattered most, I think we really did. We really played well in that first half. Uh, second half, you know, they got some good runs for sure. But again, when uh, we needed to bear down, we did, and uh, we got the one with it. Coach, talk about the defensive effort, specifically the five takeaways from this guy right here today. Oh, no one's been an animal for us this year. There's a reason why he's an All American player. Uh, and it's, again, it's been nice because we've been at, we've had some uh, ups and downs with some different guys. We have some injuries, and no one's been one of the kind of hallmarks of, of our close D. And um, it's just great when we have some senior leadership, like upperclassmen leadership, uh, uh, who's stepping up now at this time of the year that we have an alpha male that can, can control things and. Uh, so to have that, and Kyle Camphausen, one of our long stick middies, are just kind of great leaders out there that can kind of get the units. Um, and I, don't, I want to shout out to one of we feel like we have the best short stick demon in the country, Nick Rohde. You know, we, we put him up against every top kid, and he shuts people down. Uh, so it's just like our cheat code a little bit too at times where we have this, you know, 6'5", 240-pound demon who can just run with anybody. And uh, so, again, he's a big part of it. So they did their job. We limited shots. Really, the only sh it wasn't a ton of six on six. It was a lot of those transition when we break down. We throw it away. They get an opportunity. That's when those we, they started kind of come back a little bit. But so if we, we need to clean that up, obviously for tomorrow. Uh, but again, we know we can play tough six on six when, when we need to. Sure. Looking ahead, I'd like to hear from all three. You uh, last one of the last sixteen teams in the country, and you play Christian Newport tomorrow. So you got a chance to maybe see them in game one. And, and what are your thoughts on, on tomorrow game? You know, Coach Thompson's a great coach. You know, Mickey, you know, I, Mickey's done a great, unbelievable um, job with this program. And, uh, there's a reason why they're one of the top programs in the country, and we know it. I got to see them play a little bit early in the year against Williams College. Um, you know, really well schooled, very heavy. You know, they got graduate students, they got seniors, they got a ton of guys who are, are experienced. Um, so we're going to have to play our best lacrosse. That's what it's going to come down to. I think that playing in our league in the NESCAC, you know, we see a lot of great teams uh, with a lot of great players, a lot of first team All American type guys. So the good news is, We've seen those types of players, but so we have to play a much cleaner game tomorrow and uh, you know, looking forward to the challenge. And it's exciting. If you can get to the, the final 16 teams, uh, you're doing well and you're happy. And so we're going to go on a motion and, and, and go from there. Sure, I'd love to hear the players' perspective as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're excited. Back, uh, glad to be the final 16 team. And we knew uh, even coming in, it was going to take our best across. We've talked about it all season, about you know, peaking at the right time, making sure we're playing our best across when it matters. You know, we're a battle-tested team. As Coach said, we come out of the NESCAC. Every team uh, has the ability to win a game. And uh, I think we've done all year, shown that time and time again, we can just play with anybody. Uh, and I'm really excited for the opportunity to play in Sweet 16 tomorrow. Yeah, like they said, this is what we signed up for. Uh, I was really excited to see we were in this uh, division. And we have a chance to play against the number one team in the country. So I'm looking forward to it, and I, I can't wait.